What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Bullshit, where we tell it like it is and not the way it wants to be told. I am Azariel, and I will be your host for this video. Now, for a few years now, we've had instances where rappers have has had their careers ended way before they can even get started off good and this is no different now for those who've been paying attention to Meek Mill you know for, for those that do me I don't listen to Meek Mill's music much but that is completely irrelevant to what you know what I'm saying this video is about but for those that pay attention to Meek Mill and that pays attention to hip hop and new up and comers you would know that he signed a rapper from Louisiana which is this guy over here by the name of Lil Snoop and you know he was you know on his way you know like I give it to him you know what I'm saying like the guy was you know saying like putting it on for, for my state so you know so, so that mutual support was already there um I heard like one song from the guy and and like just today um they found his body and he was dead and from all reports, um, Lil Snoop uh, got shot and killed at the age of 18. You know, as you can see up here, up top. But of course, I'm gonna have the link to this in the description so you guys can check this article out for yourself. But the main reason why I want to talk about this because it was another rapper that had his career ended before it even got started good. You know, and. His name was Dollar. Now I don't know if a lot of y'all, you know, even know Dollar is, but he, he, you know, what I'm saying like he was really putting it on for the South. And his career got ended, unfortunately, you know, because of some bullshit. Pretty much similar to this. Now I don't know exactly what happened to cause him to get shot, but I don't know if it was something in his past. Or whatever so I'm gonna scroll down I'm gonna let you see everything um, that the guy died this morning you know um, and, and of course you got various people you know um, speaking on it tweeting in his last tweet I hold it down for Louisiana and man like in all honesty, like it's just sad to see people doing something positive with their lives, and I don't know. Like I said, I don't I don't know if he did anything in his past that caused somebody to do this to him, or which I believe it to be some type of jealousy. You know, because as cliche as that sounds, oh, these guys hate. You know, these guys are just hating on him, and you know, these guys just didn't want to see him winning. Or whatever the case may be as cliche as that may sound it's people in this world that live only for the chaos no matter how positive your movement is it's always people that are gonna come and try to counter what you're doing just for the simple fact that you're doing better than them and like I said as cliche as that may sound it is fact and it's no and, and I can't like I said, I don't know what the situation was. I don't know if somebody was trying to rob him. I don't know if somebody, or I don't know if he did something to somebody and then they finally recognized him. They caught him in the city and they just, just decided to just pop off. I don't know. But if it was the case of just simple jealousy, then that's petty. Or, you know, anytime you would just want to kill somebody when they had... And with all honesty, they haven't done anything to you. It's petty. You know, the guy was putting on for his state. He was putting on for his his city. He was doing something positive with his life, just for him to get shot and killed. I mean, this pretty much speaks for itself. It really doesn't need anything. Like, I, I really don't need to elaborate on how, you know, 
how retarded this is. And it's not that I was a fan of Lil Snoop. Like I said, I was just, like, I only heard one song from him. And I wasn't really paying attention to him that much. I just knew he was a, a you know what I'm saying, like Louisiana rapper. And I just wished him the best just as a Louisiana rapper. Because I'm from Louisiana. Hey, go and put on for the state. Because it's, it's really not too many people from Louisiana that really gets that shot. So, you know, I was like, hey, man, go and do your thing. So, it's fucked up that this happened, and the worst part about it is that the kid was just 18, you know what I'm saying, like he ain't even reached 20, you know what I'm saying, it's just fucked up and fucked up, but um, all I'm gonna say is, hey, jealousy is a motherfucker, jealousy is a motherfucker. So, yeah, so link to this article will be in the description. You guys can check it out. I will say rest in peace, Lil Snoop. Thank you for everything you did up until this point, you know what I'm saying, for really trying to get your life straight or whatever you were trying to just put on for the city, have fun with the music thing, and it's unfortunate that somebody had to take your life or felt they had to do it when they really didn't have to. So yeah at at the end of the day be careful with, with what you do be careful what you do now because it could come back to haunt you in the you know in the future cuz i don't know if he did something to somebody or not you know that caused him to do that or you know if you know somebody just didn't want to see the guy on top So, yeah, so as long as there's bullshit in this world, hey, I'm always have shit to talk about. Rest in peace, little Snoop, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.